The distillation apparatus contains all the required glassware and support materials for performing simple distillation experiments. The glassware comes in a custom-made foam insert to ensure that it gets to your classroom safely and it can also serve as a storage solution. Once the apparatus is set up on the support stand that it comes with, the only other materials you need to provide are a hot plate and a hot water bath or a heating mantle. For a cooling system, you have a variety of choices. You can simply use flowing tap water out of the cold water faucet in your lab to go through the condenser. You can get an expensive chiller unit, or you can use a simple bucket with a pond pump, some ice water, and some tubing. Here is the complete setup, and I just put in a mixture of isopropyl alcohol and water just to do a simple distillation experiment. I'm just starting to see the beginnings of some bubbling. Now, it's very important for you to know what are the two substances that you are putting in here. I just have water and alcohol. Alcohol evaporates around 83 degrees and water is 100, so I wanna make sure I maintain that gap for a temperature right in between, so I'm only evaporating out the alcohol. But now that this is going, I'm gonna turn on my cooling system. And here we have our first drip forming from our distillation experiment. Now, partway through the distillation, I switched to a smaller collecting vial because this kept evaporating on me, but I did get quite a bit of pure alcohol out of there. And I know you can't smell this, but yeah, it is definitely alcohol. It is not water. Here, just to show you what came out of that, I poured a little bit of the liquid distillate in this watch glass. It is definitely alcohol and not water.